There are going to be days where you do not feel like doing anything. Those days are going to be there no matter what path you take. We have two voices in our mind. There's that one voice. It's that soft motherfucker. That soft motherfucking voice that says sleep the fuck in. It's okay. You can take the day off saying you don't need to go hard. It's that coddling voice. You want to be hugged and nurtured and all that shit. That voice, that nagging voice of weakness. The one that tells you to back off, to simmer down, to take it easy. When you hear that voice, tell it no. Tell it to sit down and be quiet. Suppress that voice. You've got another voice in your head that's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you be? What could you be? What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? What could you be? Because that pain that you are feeling is the test. This is a test. This is the day I'm gonna find out if my goals really are my goals. Michael Jordan, they call it the flu game. He still scored more than the average dude with the flu. Even when you got the flu and you play other champions, you still score more than they score because you've learned how to dominate. And you need that same mentality. I'm talking about looking yourself in the mirror, looking yourself in the eye and saying, I'm gonna dominate today better than any other day. Learn how to get excited when that feeling creeps in of I don't wanna do it. And when those test days become something that you live for, something you look forward to, now you're talking about a whole different level of mindset. You're talking about an unstoppable force of nature that cannot be f***ed with. Mental toughness is the ability to resist, to manage, overcome doubt, overcome worries, overcome concerns, overcome circumstances that prevent most people from succeeding or performing under pressure. Every human being that is not successful versus every human being that's successful, the only difference between them is mental toughness. One group, when they come up against trials and tribulations, they shrink. One group of people, when they come up against a recession, they shrink. Weak-minded people, they buckle, they complain, they look for every excuse. But mentally tough people, we saw the storm and we pull on our surfboard and we begin to surf on the waves that drown most people. You have to understand that your greatest commodity not your shoes, not your car, not your clothes, it's your mind. Your mind is the most important thing you have and you gotta control it. I don't care what's happening, you have to control it. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have a mentality of a champ? Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. When they don't have no more. When it's over. When they're tired. When they're frustrated. When they're ready to give up. When they spent their last dime. That's when they get started. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money. When all your energy gone. That's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe. That's when we find a way.